Good morning. I'm meteorologist Hattie McLean. We have some light rain and snow showing up across southern Wisconsin this morning. I'll tell you how long it's going to last in just a few minutes. Plus, we're learning more about the Republican lawsuit filed against Governor Evers regarding the extended safer at home order. And why President Trump says his temporary suspension of immigration is what's best for economic recovery. This is News 3 Now This Morning. Good morning, folks. Happy Wednesday. Thanks for joining us on this April 22nd. I'm Leah lynch -Eyed. I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Josh Breider. First official day with us, Chris. How's it going so far? Going, going pretty good. It is time, though, for my second cup of coffee. I have, we got uh, it not on worked, the way. I have not worked this shift <laughs> in a little while. And, uh, yeah, that coffee would come in real handy right about now. Busy day, though, Josh. Very, very busy. Right now, Republican lawmakers are suing Governor Evers over the extension of his safer at home order. Assembly Speaker Robin Voss and Senate Majority Leader Scott Fitzgerald are asking the state Supreme Court to take the case directly, a move that would skip lower courts and get a final ruling sooner. The governor called that move purely political. In Wisconsin, as we see now, it's all about legislative Republicans seeking power. A joint statement from Assembly Speaker Robin Voss and Senate Majority Leader Scott Fitzgerald argues that it is the governor who is abusing power, claiming he has denied the people of the state a voice during the, quote, unprecedented administrative outreach, leaving them no choice but to pursue legal action. The Supreme Court gave the Department of Health Services a week to respond to the legislature's motion. As that legal battle moves forward this morning, so does the rally asking the governor to reopen the state, planned for this Friday at the state capitol. We're told this is still happening, even though that group's permit has been denied. According to the Facebook event, more than 3,000 people say they are going to attend with more than 12,000 interested. This morning, the White House is focused on the process of moving forward from the Safer at Home order. During a stop in Madison yesterday, the Vice President told News 3 Now's Eric Franke that the administration will release information that he hopes will be a roadmap to reopening the country as soon as possible. We understand the desire of people here in Wisconsin to open up as soon as possible. And we're going to continue to work with your governor and governors around the country to provide the data, to provide the information as we track the progress to do that as soon as it's possible. While the vice president said they're looking at reopening the country, they're also preparing for another possible outbreak. We'll have more coming up in the next half hour on this. Now, despite the protest, the calls from the government officials, there is a new poll out that shows that 72% of Americans are still in favor of safer at home orders. That data comes from Reuters and Ipsos. It found a majority of those polled think that people should stay at home until doctors and public health officials say it's safe. Right now, there are more than 825,000 confirmed cases of the coronavirus here in the United States. And more than 45,000 people have died. President Trump says he's issuing a temporary suspension of immigration into the U.S. for the next 60 days. By pausing immigration, we'll help put unemployed Americans first in line for jobs as America reopens. So important. It would be wrong and unjust for Americans laid off by the virus to be replaced with new immigrant labor flown in from abroad. We must first take care of... The American worker. Take care of the, American the order affects people looking for permanent residency, including through a green card. The move comes as global business leaders say they're preparing for an extended U-shaped recession. That means a longer period before the economy starts to improve. Reuters reports 60% of chief executives from more than 3,500 companies say they're preparing for that scenario. Business leaders in the hospitality and restaurant industries say they're most vulnerable. 41% of them say they may not survive the current state of the economy. Four of the biggest banks in America are accused of unfairly prioritizing emergency loan requests from bigger customers over small businesses in order to earn larger fees. There's a lawsuit against Wells Fargo, J.P. Morgan Chase, U.S. Bank, and Bank of America this morning. It accuses them of failing to process loans under the Paycheck Protection Program on a first-come, first-served basis, leaving several smaller businesses with nothing. Two banks are denying the allegations. The others have declined to comment. An example here of how the economy is affecting farmers these days. According to The Hill, a farmer in Minnesota was just forced to euthanize 61,000 chickens because of a decrease in the demand for eggs. The corporation that owned and paid for the care of the chickens made that decision after temporarily shutting down and making layoffs too. The farmer and his wife say that the decision to put the chickens down hurts but not as badly as it'll hurt their paychecks. Daybreak Foods 
has not returned a request for comment. Here in Wisconsin, a senior at Broadhead High School is doing something good to support the dairy industry in her community as well as help some families. Just seeing all of the stuff on social media of farms having to dump milk and coming from um, a dairy family, I guess it's just kind of heartbreaking to see all that um, kind of go to waste. So I wanted to make sure that um, to help them and just like help out some of the families in our community that just cannot afford fresh milk and cheese. That is Skylar Stanley. She is a member of the FFA. She just got her team to buy gallons of milk for local families. Broadhead High School offers free snacks, breakfast, and lunches for kids. And now uh, each family is also going to go home with a gallon of milk and a pound of cheese. Stanley says they helped 80 families this last week, 94 this week, and they've secured enough donations to keep that program going through the end of May. Good on you, Skylar. Absolutely. Favorite story of the morning there. 6.05 right now. Hattie joins us with some snow still on the Doppler track this morning. I know. We've been dealing with some rain and snow showers here in Madison. You can see the line moving through the area rather quickly this morning. A little damp outside here at the station with some light rain falling. No major accumulations are expected from this precipitation this morning, but you can see it from a wider view that there are some lightning strikes showing up and some thunder occurring in parts of Iowa more widespread activity to our south. And that'll be the focus for some severe weather today, well south of southern Wisconsin. So while we have a chance this afternoon for some showers, maybe even a few rumbles of thunder, I'm not expecting any severe weather. We have a stationary front sitting across the area this morning. That is the focus for some warmer air trying to push into the region early today. It's not quite as cold as it was yesterday. Temperatures are in the 30s here, 34 in the Dells, 37 in Madison. 39 in Janesville. Some 40s on the map, though. In fact, Prairie du Chien is 44 degrees this morning. Our temperatures are going to warm a little bit more quickly today. Your future track forecast model picking up on that chance for just some spotty light precipitation this morning through about the 8 or 9 o'clock hour, and then things wind down for a bit through the midday time frame. We're looking at temperatures climbing into the 50s and even 60s by lunchtime from Madison and points to the west. Take a look at the cooler temperatures with that wind off Lake Michigan. Michigan. Temps will stay in the 40s, a little bit closer to the lakeshore. Our highs, though, near 60 here in Madison with some light rain showers expected through the afternoon and evening. All that activity will wind down overnight. Any uh, rain amounts are expected to be pretty light again here for southern Wisconsin. Higher amounts, though, just south of the state line. So it is going to be pretty close to parts of southern Wisconsin where we see some of those higher rain totals. Your extended forecast has lots of 50s heading through the rest of this week into the upcoming weekend, but we do warm back into the 60s next week. All right. Thank you, Hattie. You know, it's that time of year when we should start thinking about some of those summertime events that should be coming up right about now. Especially as some of those temperatures start to warm up. Finally, unfortunately, though, we know many of those summer staples here in Madison are either canceled or pushed back. Our Keeley Arthur is live from Edgewater Hotel this morning with a breakdown. Hi, Keeley. Hi, Leah and Chris. Yes, that's right. So we wanted to go live here at the Edgewater Hotel because usually it's a place that is packed for things like the CrossFit Games, Badger Game Days, concerts, you name it. But right now, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, there are either 200 layoffs or furloughed employees at this hotel. It's kind of emblematic of what's going on in the restaurant and entertainment industry across our country and here locally. And we know that the CrossFit Games which normally come to Madison and give a $7 million economic impact to our city have been shelved this year. Organizers are looking for virtual alternatives, but that doesn't really help Madisonians. I spoke with Jason Illstrip of Downtown Madison Inc. and he says some more locally based companies though are looking at ways to adapt right now. It's like groups like Big Top, um, you know, run uh, the Mallards who run Forward Madison, groups like the Sylvie, Frank Productions and the Sylvie, they're really going to try new and different things. Um, you know, there's nothing out necessarily yet, but you're going to see different ways that people are going to interact. I would also say we're going to bring a lot more technology into things. So people may be able to be there live, but we're going to also have more technology so people can enjoy from the comforts of their home. 
Well, as you heard, nothing to be announced just yet, but definitely some hope and brainstorming right there. Coming up in our next half hour, we're going to talk about events like the farmer's market and then concerts on the square. Obviously, this is a huge hot button issue right now. Everyone's kind of divided on when things should reopen. Big question marks remain, including if there's going to be Badger game days. So a lot to be answered right now. We'll hopefully get you some answers in the next half hour. Yeah, a lot up in the air. Kaylee, thanks. 609 right now. Let's take a look at your first warned traffic on this Wednesday. Looks like we're seeing some more delays popping up on Park Street. Also near East Washington Avenue, my guess is with the construction zone right there and also over near Stoughton Road and the Beltline. A wider look at Dane County right now. Just your typical delays out there. We'll take a look at your drive times. 25 minutes from Janesville to the Beltline. 16 minutes from Sauk City to Middleton. 610 is your time and still ahead for us on this Wednesday. We're looking at how the Dane County Sheriff's Office is working to ensure the safety of inmates as the number of cases in the jail continues to rise. And how one local coffee shop is giving health care workers a bit of a sense of normalcy during the pandemic. Badly needed. We're going to share that story and more when News 3 Now this morning continues. Yeah, I'm a professional remodeler and I go to nuns. Why? Well, my clients love them because they have all those snazzy looking countertops. You know, like beautiful marble countertops, stunning quartz slabs, you name it. To be honest, I don't see what the big deal is. I mean, who needs all that glitz and glamour from a counter? But my clients love those snazzy looking countertops. So we go to Nuns. Nuns. Kitchen, bath, and flooring. Wearing the Simplicity name is no small thing. In fact, it's a very big thing. And with all of its premium features, so is the Simplicity Regent Lawn Tractor, like rear suspension for a smoother ride, a free-floating mower deck with rear rollers that let you create ballpark-style stripes, and a super-dependable Briggs & Stratton V-Twin engine. So stop by your neighborhood Simplicity dealer today. Power Centers of Madison. Visit powercentersofmadison.com. RHD Plumbing has the most reliable professionals in the industry. With honesty you can trust to deliver quality products and workmanship dedicated to being the best. RHD Plumbing now offers complete bathroom and kitchen remodeling, the best plumbers, and everything else you need to finish your dream project. For your home or business, get the job done right the first time with no surprises. With the reliable, honest, and dedicated plumbing professionals of RHD Plumbing, proudly serving all of Dane County. We can't offer much during this time of crisis, but we can offer what we have. So from all of us working early mornings on the farm, long days in the plant, or late nights stocking shelves, doing all we can to get you the milk you need, we hope it makes your breakfast a little brighter, your snacks more nutritious, and reminds you when it comes to caring, there is no expiration date. Milk, love what's real. Hi, it's Jan from Toyota. As part of your community, we're here to help you during these challenging times. Keeping your Toyota safe and reliable is important, especially right now. Many of our service centers are open. Schedule service online and drop off and pick up your vehicle with no contact. Need to replace your old vehicle? Most Toyota dealers offer online shopping and will defer your first payment for 90 days. We're here for you. Contact your local Toyota dealer to see how they can help. Toyota. Are you behind on your mortgage? Is the bank threatening to take your home? Are you considering trying to get a loan modification on your own? Did you know that less than 5% of people who tried on their own actually got a modification? At the Mortgage Modification Helpline, we know the rules and regulations banks don't want you to know about, and we've helped thousands of people stay in their homes. So call the Mortgage Modification Helpline today. Please call 800-631-7749. Welcome back at 613. We're following some breaking news this morning as Stoughton police say they have made an arrest in connection to a fight and stabbing we first told you about on Monday morning. Officers arrested William Skinner overnight for his involvement in that incident. Police say he had been in the hospital recovering from injuries that he had gotten in that disturbance. He's facing multiple charges this morning, including two counts of second degree recklessly endangering safety, two counts of substantial battery, burglary, and bail jumping. The Dane County Sheriff's Office says it's now planning to test the entire jail following following 16 newly confirmed COVID-19 cases. Four inmates from the same pod in the public safety building tested positive over the weekend. 
The rest of the 22 inmates in that pod were also tested. 12 of those tests came back positive. 10 of those were in people showing no symptoms of the virus. That brings the total number of inmates who have tested positive now to 26. Sheriff Dave Mahoney says while social distancing is difficult with the jail's current setup, keeping inmates well is his top priority. We take our responsibility to pr protect and provide a safe and healthy environment very serious, and we're doing that. Well, of six sheriff's deputies have also tested positive for the virus. The National Guard will come in now to help with facility-wide testing, which will begin as early as Friday. A new at-home kit to test for the coronavirus could be available soon. The FDA approved the first of its kind test just yesterday, though right now it's only available for healthcare workers and first responders. It's not clear when it's going to hit the market for the rest of us. Once a sample is collected, the user does have to ship the test kit back to the lab for results. Each kit costs around $120. A local coffee company has a new business model this morning that's managing to keep them open and keep paying their workers. Two out of the three beans and cream coffee house locations are still open during this pandemic. One location on Main Street in Sun Prairie has been transformed into a drive through only with a revamped menu and lower prices. The second spot at UW Health's American Center on the east side is still fully open. Workers there say it helps provide a sense of normalcy for hospital workers. UW Hospital actually reached out to us as things started to happen, as they started to close their clinics and reschedule um, elective surgeries and asked if we would consider staying open, that they felt like we, um, our presence really was a morale boost for their staff. Owners say when the COVID-19 emergency was first announced, they even interviewed employees to determine who was more dependent on their paychecks and then gave those folks priority hours. A local organic delivery service is giving back to frontline workers. For more than five years, Garden to Doorstep Organics has delivered fresh foods, veggies, and other products to customers around the Madison area. Now the company and their customers are giving back to those who are helping during the COVID-19 pandemic through donation boxes. Basically, we sponsor a part of the box, and then a customer can either purchase the rest of the, the items in the box, or they can go halves with another customer. Um, and then we are taking them to um, health care workers. Garden to Doorstep Organics is also donating to local animal shelters. To participate in those donation boxes or to order your own, we've put a link on channel3000.com. Excellent. Those fruits and veggies look good, too. Hey, here's something. If you are a frontline health care worker, listen up. You can eat at McDonald's for free. Health care workers, as well as police officers, firefighters, pandemics, uh, or paramedics, rather. Uh, you can get a free meal every day for the next two weeks at McDonald's, any time of day through the drive through or carry out. Just show up with your badge or your ID and be in uniform. The food will come in Happy Meal boxes, too, to make it a little more special. The promotion goes all the way until May 5th. Hey, McFlurry's cheer everybody up. <laughs> I just had one last night. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> Today is Earth Day, and we wanted to celebrate this morning by taking a live look at some of the beautiful places our world has to offer. Oh, my gosh, that looks really nice. Sign me up. Of course, we can't go and explore ourselves, so we wanted to give you a look. This is a live look at yes, Meads Bay in Anguilla down in the Caribbean. Oh. I want to be on that beach this morning. Yes, absolutely. Oh, man, you just got to find a way to get there. Yes, seriously. <laughs> Chris is Swim? rethinking that Wisconsin booth right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that, that does look great, though. Uh, it's a bit chilly out there, and we are also uh, uh, watching the chance for some flurries in the metro this morning. Yeah, there's no snow in the Caribbean this morning. That is for certain. <laughs> Here's a live look outside the station here on the west side of town. A lot of clouds in the area, but you can see a little bit of light on the horizon. You can also see some of those scattered showers in the distance as well. We've had some reports of light rain and snow in and around the Madison area, and you can see some of those light showers moving to the south and east this morning. They're not going to last very long in any one spot. Chances for precipitation increase a little bit later on today as well, so we're not done with the precipitation after this morning. You might want to grab that umbrella if you're planning on taking a walk today. Our temperatures are starting out in the upper 30s and low to mid 40s this morning. We will climb to highs in the lower 60s though later on this afternoon so a little bit warmer than it was yesterday we'll take that thank you very much Hattie 618 now spring cleaning is taking a pretty high priority for lots of us in the midst of this pandemic so are you doing a pretty good job maybe you are maybe you aren't Christina Laurie here now this morning with some of the places we may be missing Christina 
Hi, Chris and Leah. We're moving from the kitchen to the bathroom this hour, and while it's pretty obvious you should be disinfecting your toilets and sinks every single week, there are a couple spots in your bathroom that can be filled with even more germs. One of those is your toothbrush holder. The CDC recommends cleaning it every week or as often as you disinfect your toilet. All you have to do is rinse with hot water, then use a small bristle brush or pipe cleaner to scrub inside. Then you can actually use antibacterial mouthwash to sanitize it. Rinse it out with clean water and make sure you let it air dry though before reloading your toothbrushes in it. Something you may not be thinking about, disinfecting the liner of your shower curtain. These can be a magnet for mold, especially at the bottom of the curtains where you might not notice it. You don't have to throw it out and get a new one. You can actually Actually clean it in your washing machine just just throw it in with a half a cup of baking soda and a couple of towels and run it through a normal cycle with warm water the baking soda and towels work together to scrub the liner and get rid of the grime and soap buildup after that's done you just hang it back up and let it dry a couple more spring cleaning tips from the CDC always clean from top to bottom so you let gravity do the work for you and you don't have to go back and repeat any step twice and it may sound like a little thing but it can help to add cleaning dates to your calendar or set phone reminders so you don't forget although in the age of corona i feel like we're all cleaning 24 7 chris and leah yeah it's it's uh not very hard though to miss some of those spots you mentioned For sure that is a great idea with uh, cleaning the shower curtain in the washing machine with the towels i might have to use that one with the baking soda Christina, thank you very much. <laughs> All right, coming up on 621 this morning, we have the winner from yesterday's Safe at Home Challenge. Plus, we're looking ahead to today's challenge. And coming up in our next half hour, we're talking about how the Justice Department could take action against states with safer at home orders. Stay with us. News 3 Now this morning will continue right after this. With a nursing degree, helping others went from a job to a career. Ensure carefully. Dream fearlessly. Toro's Time Cutter HD and Titan HD Zero Turn Mowers. Comfortable with the innovative MyRide suspension system and high back suspension seats. Powerful with commercial grade engines. Heavy duty, built to tackle tough terrain while providing Toro's professional quality of cut. Versatile, so you can get more done on or off the mower. Toro's Time Cutter HD and Titan HD Zero Turn Mowers. Count on it. Power Centers of Madison. Visit powercentersofmadison.com. This is our home. We've never seen it look quite like this. But there's no mistaking it. And it's our job to protect it. Because the best people to fight for our communities are those within them. So if you've just bought a Volkswagen or we're thinking of buying sometime soon, we're here to help with the community-driven promise. of Jingris, Thompson, and Walks are here to support our community through this challenging time. We thank everyone bringing invaluable services to our neighbors. The Jingris, Thompson, and Walks team remains available to assist in any way. How's the stress in your home? Hi, I'm Tim O'Brien, owner of the healthy place, Apple Wellness. We are doing 40% off on all CBD products this week through Saturday. It's something small that we could do to support our community. CBD has helped thousands of our customers find relief, and at 40% off, there's never been a better time. No need to leave the house with our live chat option on our website and free same-day delivery for our Dane County customers. Stop by one of our four locations or check us out online at findyourhealthyplace.com. Even though our doors are closed, we're always open at ashleyhomestore.com. Shop online for up to 75% off, plus free shipping and no interest financing. Ashley Home Store. This is home. Please join Madison Magazine, News 3 Now, and Channel 3000 in supporting local businesses.
list of vendors, options, and hours of operation, go to madisonmagazine.com. Thank you for supporting local businesses. Welcome back at 624. Time to take a look at some of our entries for yesterday's Safe at Home Challenge. We are putting out a challenge every day, of course, to give you and your family a little extra fun while you're socially distancing at home. And yesterday, we asked you to show us your best finger painting. All right, and here is our first runner-up. This about sums it up for most of us right <laughs> now, saying no more corona. Love it. And here's this morning's winner, two, uh, these two, folk, uh, two kiddos right here. They painted a sign to tell their grandparents that they missed us. Aww. We miss you, Grandma and Grandpa. Pretty talented oh, kids there. With the pooch there, too. That oh, yeah. just never it. hurts to put a dog or a cat <laughs> in the picture. Points for the dog, for sure. Congrats to you, too. We're going to be sending you a gift card to a local business. And now here's a look at tomorrow's challenge. Today's Earth Day, and we're asking you to celebrate by heading outdoors. Take a picture of your favorite <laughs> spot outside your home. Maybe it's a favorite tree, a patch of flowers, or even a little garden, like our producer Jake here is working on right now. Looks like he's trying to grow a few dandelions or I, something. That's, I think we need to get Jake out of the <laughs> he needs house. Needs a little bit of help. Maybe. Jake, we gotta we gotta get you to a park, Maybe I'm buddy. Being too hard. All right, be sure to head over to our website, channel3000.com, to submit your pictures. All right, speaking of Earth, we're continuing to celebrate this morning by taking a live look here at some of the beautiful places our world has to offer. Take a look at that. We got an elephant on TV this morning. This is a look at the African savanna. Oh. I know we've been trying to get an animal all morning, and we finally got the timing right. Oh, that's baby elephant. That's a live that's picture, really... guys. That is neat. I Aww. love that. That looks like fun. Oh, he's Aww. had enough. <laughs> Daddy, he's probably bye afraid bye, of your bye. forecast. I'm not going to lie. It's not very Savannah-like. No, definitely not Savannah-like here. Here's our pet walk oh. picture. Look at the name. Myla Rika Chirix in Madison, but pause up given high five. Distancing, of course, though. <laughs> Thank you for sending that picture. We should be closer to 60 this afternoon. Stay with us. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. We thank you for that, and we'll be right back. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Garden mats eliminate 90% of the time spent working in the garden and increase a garden's productivity by 10 to 20%. Garden mats let air and water through but block sunlight. The pre-measured holes make planting a breeze. We help people grow 100% organic vegetables weed-free. Garden mats give us our summers back to do the things we love. Go to gardenmats.com. Get a great deal on the Kubota L-Series tractor. Built upon a solid foundation of cast iron and steel, the Kubota L-Series tractor is the number one selling compact tractor in the U.S. for over 10 years. With a powerful Kubota diesel engine and dependable gear or HST transmission, it's ready to take on your toughest projects. Right now, get the L2501 HST for payments as low as $149 a month. COPD makes it hard to breathe. So to breathe better, I started one Staley Anoral. COPD tries to say go this way. I say I'll go my own way with Anoro. One Staley Anoro contains two medicines called bronchodilators that work together to significantly improve lung function all day and all night. Do not use Anoro if you have asthma. Anoro won't replace rescue inhalers for sudden symptoms and should not be used more than once a day. Tell your doctor if you have a heart condition, high blood pressure, glaucoma, prostate, bladder, or urinary problems. These may worsen with Anoro. Call your doctor if you have worsened breathing, chest pain, mouth or tongue swelling, problems urinating, vision changes, or eye pain while taking Anoro. The most common side effects are sore throat, diarrhea, and pain in the arms and legs. Ask your doctor about once daily Anoro to start treating your COPD. Go your Save at anoro.com.
face adversity, we find a way through it. It's about taking care of each other. It's the small parts that make a big difference. At Chevy, we promise to do ours. We're offering current Chevy owners OnStar Crisis Assist services and complimentary Wi-Fi data. If you need a new Chevy, interest-free financing for 84 months with deferred payments for 120 days on many of our most popular models. You may even shop online and take delivery at home where available. It's just our way of doing our part. On this Wednesday morning, we're still talking light rain and snow showers here in southern Wisconsin. All the full forecast coming up. And if you're a small business owner who applied for a loan last month, your information could be compromised. We'll explain. This is News 3 Now This Morning. Good morning, folks, and happy hump day. You made it halfway through the week. It is April 22nd. I'm Leah Lynchide. I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Josh Breider. Let's get right to the headlines this morning. The Paycheck Protection Program bill is headed to the House of Representatives. The Senate approved it Tuesday, ending weeks of discussions between Democrats and Republicans. The $484 billion package will give more funding to small business relief programs, hospitals, and coronavirus testing. It also includes provisions to stop big companies from getting loans through the program. The House could meet to take up the legislation as early as tomorrow. After passing the bill by voice vote, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell is making it clear that there won't be any more long distance legislating on the coronavirus. Politico reports McConnell will have all 100 senators present before they start to discuss the fifth legislative package responding to the pandemic. McConnell hopes to have the Senate back on May 4th. New this morning, Politico also reporting the personal information for nearly 8,000 small businesses who applied for emergency loans last month could be compromised. The Small Business Administration found out on March 25th that the application system could have disclosed personal information to economic injury disaster loans applicants, including social security numbers, income, names, addresses, and contact information. The program is separate from payroll protection program loans. It's unclear yet how the breach happened. 631 right now, new comments from the U.S. Attorney General this morning about possibly intervening in state stay at home orders. In a radio interview, U.S. Attorney General William Barr says he won't rule out legal action if he thinks states are infringing on constitutional rights. He says he's fine with orders for social distancing and wearing masks, but is more concerned about orders that shut down businesses or require folks to stay home. Barr says stay-at-home orders come, quote, disturbingly close to house arrest. With more than 4,600 confirmed cases and 240 deaths in Wisconsin, we're hearing what health care workers think about Governor Evers' bounce-back plan. That plan lays out several phases for the state to reopen. Governor Evers says we need to see 14 days of declining cases before we can start to loosen restrictions. Dr. Jeff Pothoff at UW Health says it's a good starting point. It closely mirrors the federal guidelines, uh, which are evidence-based, uh, created with scientists and folks who understand uh, pandemics. Uh, and I think it's a good place to start. Uh, it, it outlines some metrics, some things that we need to be able to achieve as a state. Dr. Pothoff says while the plan gives reassurance to folks who want to know what's next, we still shouldn't be setting a hard date on when to reopen the state. And the pandemic is hitting some more hospital workers in their pocketbooks in a move to make up for lost revenue. Unity Point Health Meritor says it'll temporarily reduce hours for certain employees in addition to limited furloughs and salary reductions for executives. This is a decision that they say they don't take lightly. As a system, we are managing the short-term and long-term impacts of this crisis, and we're taking the necessary steps to ensure we emerge in a position of strength. UW Health is also handing out pay cuts. Depending on a person's position, the cuts range from 10 to 20 percent. UW Health CEO says surgeries have dropped 62 percent during the pandemic, adding up to a loss of around 350 to 400 million dollars. We are hearing more from Vice President Mike Pence this morning after his one on one exclusive with our Eric Franke. The VP was in Madison yesterday to tout the production of ventilators here by GE Healthcare. Wisconsin isn't currently experiencing a ventilator shortage, though. What hospitals are more concerned about is the shortage of personal protective equipment and test kits. In that exclusive interview, our Eric Franke asked the vice president to address that growing need. I spoke to Governor Evers this morning, uh, not just about testing, but about, about medical equipment. And we're going to continue to partner uh, with Governor Evers and, frankly, every governor in America to make sure 
that the supplies are there uh, for our health care workers, but also the supplies are there for testing. The good news is... Looking ahead, the vice president says his task force is already addressing the possibility of a second wave of cases in the fall as the flu season returns. A month ago, we had only... And our first objective now, Eric, is to, is to put the coronavirus in the past just as quickly as we possibly can. But make no mistake about it. Um, that as we do that, we're we're laying the foundation to be able to to deal with any future outbreak of the coronavirus, most especially if it was to recur in the fall and winter of next year. The vice president's visit came on the same day Republican lawmakers in the state filed a lawsuit against Governor Evers and his Safer at Home extension, which is now running through May. Former vice president and current presidential candidate Joe Biden is criticizing Pence's trip to Wisconsin. Biden says the Trump administration is using it as a political photo op. The Journal Sentinel reports Biden released a statement citing the thousands of Wisconsin workers who have been on, uh, laid off or have filed for unemployment because of the pandemic and those Republican efforts to, quote, prematurely end social distancing efforts. Biden went on to say that the Trump administration is hoping that Wisconsinites have a short memory. 6.35 on your Wednesday, Miss Hattie McLean tracking some blue stuff on the Doppler track. Looks like snow hats. Yeah, and it is falling as snow in some parts. We've had some mixed precipitation here in Madison. Right now, just cloudy skies, some rain being reported in the Dells. So fair game for some snowflakes or even some raindrops scattered across southern Wisconsin this morning. No real accumulation, though, is expected. All this activity is relatively light. Keeping my eye on the shower and thunderstorm activity though moving across Iowa. It is moving off to the east but there is a potential that some of those showers and thunderstorms will reach southern Wisconsin a little bit later on today. We do have variably cloudy skies across the area. Even with all this precipitation scattered about there are still some holes in the cloud cover this morning. Taking a look at temperatures across the area. Look at the difference in temps. 30 in Marshfield, 44 in La Crosse. Jumps into the 50s as you head into Iowa. 55 in Des Moines this morning, only 41 though in Waterloo. Here in southern Wisconsin, we're not quite that warm. We are in the 30s and 40s, 37. We've been holding steady here in Madison for the last couple of hours. It's 36 in Watertown. Some 40s to the west though, 41 in Mineral Point this morning. And we have 43 degrees in Prairie du Chien. Now our future track forecast model shows you that you can expect to see quite a few clouds through the day today. Any light rain and snow will come to an end within the next couple of hours. We'll get a break in the precipitation through the lunchtime hours and then some showers and isolated thunderstorms developing for the afternoon. Today is going to be warmer with highs around 60 here in Madison. Note the temperature contrast though. Milwaukee only tops at 43. Temperatures will be mild out to the west as well. So those cool easterly winds off the lake really have an effect on temperatures today. Any showers and thunderstorms coming to an end this evening. Total rain is likely to be less than a quarter of an inch for most of southern Wisconsin. Higher amounts, though, just south of the state line. So it is going to be a close call for southern Wisconsin. Here's your extended forecast. We have temperatures that fall back into the 50s for the rest of the week. Slight chances for rain as well heading into the weekend. I know it's a ways out there, but I'm looking at that 67 in a week and a half. That sounds nice. more in my alley. Yeah, yeah. yeah looking forward exactly. to that. Exactly. Thanks, Addie. Some changes coming to Milwaukee for voters after seven people who went to the polls this month tested positive for coronavirus. The city of Milwaukee will now mail absentee ballot applications to registered voters ahead of November's election. The move was just approved by the city council. The Journal Sentinel reports the safe vote program would give roughly 300,000 voters a postage paid return envelope so that they can take part in the fall election. Meantime, Florida is starting to see confirmed cases in their state after also holding their primary election, two poll workers from Broward County, which includes Fort Lauderdale and Hollywood, have tested positive. The Miami Herald reports they worked March 17th at two different precincts. It's unclear, though, when they got the virus, but an elections office spokesperson in that county says their contact with voters was limited. 638 now. The COVID-19 pandemic is impacting so much of what we know and love. And that includes the many events that we're used to seeing in Madison this time of year. Keely Arthur is live at the Edgewater Hotel with a look at all the changes. Hey, Keely. 
Good morning. That's right. So we're live at the Edgewater Hotel right now. This is normally a place that is really busy because of so many great events that are here in the downtown area. But right now, the 200 employees that normally work here have either been furloughed or laid off. This is emblematic of what is happening across the country and, of course, here locally at so many restaurants, hotels, and entertainment venues. We know that the CrossFit Games, which normally has at least a $7 million direct economic impact to the city, has been shelved for this year. And the University of Wisconsin Athletics is projecting a $4 million loss for this fiscal year, so not including fall sports. The cancellation of sports and other events not only impacts them directly, but also all the restaurants and, of course, hotels in our area. I spoke with Jason Ilstrip of Downtown Madison, Inc., and he said that while things are stalled right now and may never exactly be the same, he suspects there will always be new ways to innovate and prevail. We're going to also have more technology so people can enjoy from the comforts of their home. I think it's just expedited that. And I think you're going to see it not just with large sports events and large concerts, but I think you're going to see it with, you know, meetings at City Hall or events that Downtown Madison Inc. runs. We'll record them and you can consume them the time you want. But there will always be a place for people gathering and people getting together. I mean, that's who we are as humans. We want to create community. So events like concerts on the square are still going to happen. Right now, they've been pushed back by about a month. Of course, that could change. The Dane County Farmers Market has also innovated, moving their online purchasing system, really making that the base of their business right now. And you can simply pick up those items uh, kind of off John Nolan on Saturdays when the Farmers Market normally would be held. Another way that you can really help our area right now is just keep going to those local restaurants. I know Leah's always getting fish fry on Fridays, which is great. You can also support local gyms by maybe taking a class or two online. I'll send it back to you guys. Keely Arthur always getting those fish fries with me, which I have loved for years now, but we have to take a minute uh, to let our viewers know Keely is heading off to the next milestone in her career. She's headed to Raleigh. Today's her final day. Keely, we cannot thank you enough for the incredible professionalism and friendship you have shown all of us in this newsroom. Thank you, Leah. I, I've, I've been very uh, calm with all of this, um, but my gosh, uh, it's just been such a wonderful time here, and I have loved all of it, especially making so many great friendships like with you and so many other people. Keely, Josh here. I'm going to miss those wine and pasta nights where we talk about relationships <laughs> and all things life. Of course, I'm also going to miss you being my next-door neighbor at my desk, too. I don't know what I'm going to do when I can't turn around and talk to you. It won't be so messy, though. You'll love it. <laughs> you you're right in between Leah and I. You won't have, you'll have what, just one area that'll be a little messy yeah, now. Yeah, Keely and I notoriously messy. Well, we are so proud of you, Keely. We can't wait to see what you're up to next. We also have Christina Laurie here as well. I believe Christina wants to say a few words. Hey, Christina. Yeah, I didn't want to get, lose my out on my chance to say goodbye to you either, Keely. You were the very first person I talked to the day that I came in for my interview here in Madison, and ever since then, I've just developed a really special bond with you. We're both from the same area in, the Chica in Chicago, so I guess I'm just going to have to pack up the deep dish pizza and portillos and bring it to you when I visit you in Raleigh, but I'm so, so happy for you, Keely. Yes, Christina, you know I've told you a million times to already book some flights. I can't wait to see all of your faces. Uh, it's warmer there, so I'm going to learn <laughs> all of you there. Keely Arthur, we are so proud Sold. of you. We love you. Oh, You're my best gosh. friend. We're a phone call away. We're so proud of you, Keely. Congrats. We'll Good be right luck. Back. Thank you. This is online learning. Today, it's more relevant than ever. This is you, a person looking for a lasting career. And this is Herzing University's Everywhere Classroom, where you can earn a degree in nursing, healthcare, business, and IT, anywhere, anytime. Take an online course free and get comfortable with online learning. That makes a degree from Herzing University more relevant than ever. I'm possible at Herzing. Learn more today. Here at Weedman Lawn Care, we believe that your lawn should be a place where memories are made, a source of pride, relaxation, and fun for the whole family. That's why we proudly offer a child and pet friendly program so you can enjoy a healthier, greener, weed-free lawn without sacrificing peace of mind. Our program offers effective, targeted weed control, and our golf course quality fertilizer creates a beautiful outdoor space. Don't your kids and grandkids deserve a Weedman lawn? Trust the lawn care experts. Trust Weedman. 
It takes attention to detail. With your local Bryant dealer, you're getting more than just a technician. You're getting someone who pays attention to your needs and the little things that make a big difference. It takes a dealer you can rely on. And to keep your family cool this summer... Let me show you how this works. It takes Bryant. Bryant. Whatever it takes. Call Hillestead Heating and Cooling in Madison and Lodi. In the Monroe area, call Roofer Refrigeration and Heating. At Govan Cars, your safety is our number one priority. We are taking necessary precautions to clean and sanitize all of our vehicles and facilities. With prices being at an all-time low, we are able to sell these cars well below market value. So hurry in today and take advantage of these once-in-a-lifetime low prices. Call to schedule an appointment and ask for Crystal the Pistol Govan. Go to Govan Cars East or West. You gotta go to Govan. GovanCars.com Right now, staying in touch is more important than ever. So to help you stay connected during this unprecedented time, U.S. Cellular is waiving data overage charges. Now through May, no matter what plan you're on, you'll have the smartphone data you need and not be charged for any overages. That way, you can work from home, check the latest headlines, and stay in touch with family and friends without worrying about your bill. So even if you have to be apart, you can stay in touch. U.S. Cellular. At News 3 Now, we're staying home as much as possible, just like you. But that won't stop us from providing you with the information you need. Throughout these trying times when our local community faces a health crisis and economic uncertainty, it's so important to stay informed. Trust us with the facts. Know that News 3 Now is with you every day, working hard to keep all of our families safe and healthy and also weather this economic storm. We'll get through this together. Welcome back. Every day we are sharing our favorite stories of humanity during the pandemic, trying to put a smile on your face this early in the morning. Today's comes from London, where a World War II veteran was brought to tears when a caregiver at his nursing home gave him a gift he'll never forget. I got you a present. What's up, darling? Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh. Uh, so that's 94-year-old Ken Benbow. He sleeps with a framed uh, picture of his late wife. And uh, they were married for 71 years before she died. And Kia Tobin there, uh, the provider, uh, gave him a pillow with Ada's picture on it instead. Yeah, the video was posted on the Thistleton Lodge Facebook page where it now has more than 400,000 views. Oh, so cute. Precious. So touching. It's going to make me tear up here watching no. that. <laughs> all right. Well, here at News 3 Now, we want to thank all of the people in our community making a difference during this time of uncertainty. Every morning, we're featuring someone who's keeping us safe and helping us uh, get through this tough time. Yeah, take a look at this. Today, we're thanking Lily, who works in the ER for UW Health at the American Center in Madison. Lily, thank you for working through this pandemic and helping our community stay safe and healthy. Those folks on the front lines can't thank them enough. Working hard. All right, Hattie McLean here now with a look at your forecast. Hey, Hattie. Good morning, Chris. We have a little bit of sunshine showing up on the Queen Bee Radio Sky Camera in Platteville. So nice to see that view early this morning. We also have some light rain and snow showers to mix in with that as well here in southern Wisconsin. Those snow showers are moving through the area pretty quickly, but don't be surprised if you see a snowflake or two or even a few raindrops. Here's a look at our temperatures this morning. We're starting off in the 30s and even 40s in southwestern Wisconsin. It is going to be a warmer day today with highs reaching around 60 here here in Madison and points to the west. It will be a little bit cooler to the east. There is a chance for a few showers or even some isolated thunderstorms to redevelop across the area later on this afternoon. All right, thank you very much, Hattie. 647 coming up in the morning sprint. State Fair Park is looking a little different this morning after being transformed to house coronavirus patients. We'll take you inside. But first, it is April 22nd, and we want to say happy birthday to Ray Lynn, June, and all the other kids turning three today. Thanks for celebrating on News 3 Now this morning. with Reality Check, only on News 3 Now. At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy an air conditioner. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase an air conditioner and a furnace at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. Coming together makes us stronger, and Ford is built to lend a hand. 
Contact your Ford dealer, an essential part of your community, to find out more about home delivery and other vehicle service options. After all, you have a lot to take care of. Let us help take care of you. Find out more at Ford.com. Right now, qualified buyers can get 0% financing for 72 months, plus three months deferred payments on select 2020 Ford models. Your business is your pride and joy. You raised it with hard work from nothing but a dream. And since you care so much, naturally you want to protect it from harm. That's where we come in. Because a great insurance policy is not a necessary evil. It's the best way to keep your business happy, healthy, and profitable. And that is the silver lining. Pamper your business with a policy from West Bend. Only your locally owned Cub Cadet dealer has genuine parts, accessories, trained service technicians, and the widest selection of innovative Cub Cadet products. We're here for you whenever you need us. With expert service and support to keep your equipment running at peak performance for years to come. And with great deals available, there's never been a better time to buy at your local dealership. To find the dealer near you, visit CubCadetDealers.com. Hey, Wisconsin. It's tough times right now. Fearing's Audio Video Security normally focuses on providing technology solutions. But right now, it's self-care. Things like establishing a routine, getting outside every day, getting a good night's sleep, taking time for meditation or prayer, and just think about what you're grateful for. We can do this together. Visit unitedmadison.com forward slash help. Brought to you by Fearing's Audio Video Security and United Madison. Grand Appliance and TV is committed to serving our customers and neighbors now, just as we have since 1930. If you need an appliance, we're open, and you can shop our website 24-7. We've expanded our live chat, email, and phone support, and are here for you with an extra 5% off most purchases. Our delivery pros can do a no-contact drop-off delivery or full in-home install. Grand Appliance and TV, you know us and we know you. You can count on us. At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy an air conditioner. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase an air conditioner and a furnace at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. When you think Honda, think Wild East Town Honda in Madison. 651 right now, time for the morning sprint. We start with some breaking news overnight. Stoughton police have made an arrest in connection to a fight and stabbing we first told you about Monday morning. Officers arrested William Skinner overnight for his involvement in that incident. Police say he had been in the hospital recovering from injuries that he got in that disturbance. He's facing multiple charges, including two counts of second degree recklessly endangering safety, two counts of substantial battery, burglary, and bail jumping. We have some breaking news into the newsroom within the last half hour. One person is dead after a crash in Iowa County. It happened yesterday afternoon. The sheriff's office says 71-year-old James Kruger was driving on State Road 133 about a mile east of County Road N. Kruger's car hit a county maintenance vehicle that was sweeping gravel. He was pronounced dead at the scene. His passenger and the driver of the other vehicle were taken to the hospital. The Paycheck Protection Program bill is on its way to the House this morning. The Senate approved it yesterday, ending weeks of discussions between Democrats and Republicans. The $484 billion package will give more funding to small business relief programs, hospitals, and coronavirus testing. It also includes provisions to stop big companies from getting loans through that program. After passing the bill by voice vote, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell is making it clear there won't be any more long-distance legislating on the coronavirus. Politico reports McConnell will have all 100 senators present before they start to discuss the fifth legislative package responding to the pandemic. McConnell hopes to have the Senate back on May 4th. In an exclusive interview with News 3 Now, Vice President Mike Pence says he'll continue to work with Governor Evers to make sure that Wisconsin's health care workers have enough personal protective equipment and testing equipment to address the coronavirus ep pandemic. The Vice President visited the GE plant in Madison yesterday to talk with workers producing ventilators. Uh, we'll have more on that visit coming up on channel3000.com. Channel 3000 there you go.
All right. Well, Madison is known for its big events and attractions, especially in the warmer months. But right now, restaurants, hotels, and all those venues are laying bare because of the COVID-19 crisis. Thankfully, though, Madison companies are adapting forward. Madison, our semi-pro soccer team is obviously not playing right now, but they did collaborate with local breweries to offer a beer and t-shirt package as a way to support themselves and other companies. We're going to look at other ways companies are adapting and some financial losses that have come with the cancellations up on our website channel 3000.com Chris all right thanks people in Milwaukee can now get a ticket for violating the state's safer at home order the city's common council just voted unanimously to approve this the Journal Sentinel reports options range from educating people about the order to arresting or possibly giving criminal charges for people who uh, don't limit the spread of the coronavirus. The city of Milwaukee will now mail absentee ballot applications to registered voters ahead of November's election. This after at least seven people tested positive for coronavirus after going to the polls during the pandemic in Wisconsin. The Journal Sentinel reports the Safe Vote program would give the roughly 300,000 voters a postage page, postage page return envelope so they can take part in the fall election. And we're getting a first look this morning at the alternative care facility that will open soon at the Wisconsin State Park, State Fair Park. The overflow site will be able to hold up to about 750 patients. The facility will be staffed by paid and volunteer workers, including doctors, nurses, and registrars. The facility isn't set to open, though, for a few more days as workers finish up training. Well, it is spring, it's cleaning, spring season. cleaning season, and while most of us have been disinfecting our homes from top to bottom throughout the past month, there are a few places many of us have been overlooking. In the kitchen, your dish rack, can opener, and garbage can are some of the germiest spots, and in your bathroom, your toothbrush holder and shower liner contain a lot of germs. It's important you not only clean these areas, but disinfect them thoroughly. I'll share some of the cheap and easy ways the CDC recommends online at channel3000.com. Thank you, Christina. The city of Madison will once again be considering whether its police department should wear body cameras. The State Journal reports city council voted unanimously to create another committee to look into the matter. It's the third committee since 2015 to review that technology. It is 6.55. Let's take a look at your first warn traffic. Closer look at Madison right now. A couple delays on the Beltline near Stoughton Road. Still seeing some delays showing up near downtown on East Washington Avenue. Your drive times right now, everything in the green. Average speed on the Beltline, 65 miles an hour. If you're heading down John Nolan drive into the city this morning should be smooth sailing. That's your first warm traffic. And your first warm weather forecast this morning starts with a little bit of light rain and snow scattered across southern Wisconsin early today. Temperatures will climb into the low 60s though later on this afternoon with another chance for showers and isolated thunderstorms later today. The forecast for the upcoming weekend does start with some rain chances on Friday, but it looks like just slight chances for rain Saturday with most of that precipitation staying south of the state line. Thank you very much, Hattie. Chris, first day in the books. How are you feeling? Went great. Do it again tomorrow? Yeah, why not? Good we'll to try. have you. <laughs> Thanks All right, for we'll joining us. We'll see you again, everybody.